This is Classic FM. It's Classic FM Live. Welcome. We're in the bowels of the building, I think it's fair to say. Just been joined by Milos Karadalic. Milos, thanks for sparing the time. Great pleasure. Have you been up there and rehearsed yet? Yes, I'm fresh off the rehearsal. <laughs> and how was it? How's the building? How's it was the room? great. It's great. It's always uh, interesting to make the right balance of the guitar with the orchestra and with the accordion and with everything. And it again changes when the people come in, so you're never sure. Yeah. But hopefully we have a wonderful team tonight and it's going to be great. Uh, forget, it's, a it's a big room. Is it tough for a guitar to be in that room? I mean, no, I've, mm -hmm. I've spent two hours on my own in that room, just in September, wow. uh, so I, it was uh, my favorite concert uh, that I have ever done. And it's a big room, but it creates the most intimate, wonderful space. That's interesting. And I think that uh, the power of guitar should not be underestimated, because yes, it's not as loud as other instruments, but uh, it can create the most wonderful, intimate atmosphere, even in the biggest of spaces. More passionate, perhaps, as well, in the right hand. Well, too. passionate, intimate, however you like. I think everybody chooses a different word for guitar. It's fun as well, and, and your, your recent album, Latino Gold, I want to talk about that. Was yes. that, that is a fun album, it's got to be said. It is a mega fun <laughs> album, and I had a tremendous amount of good time recording it. Um, I released Latino original a year ago, but then I thought I don't want to move on to the next project until I have actually completed it. Uh, and I wanted to complete it just uh, drawing from experiences of going around the globe and playing concerts mm. and so on. So um, yes, I've recorded uh, not just a couple of extra tracks, you know, to, no. to call it a deluxe version, but <laughs> rather half an hour of new music. Yeah. And it's some of the uh, most mm. uh, wonderful, uh, fun arrangements I have ever played, mm. some of which I will perform tonight. Lovely. In fact, uh, it's, I've got to say, that, that album suits you down to the ground, I think, and Liber Tango, which I believe yes. you might hear tonight. Just, it's, it's the first track on the album, isn't it? It is. It, it's a brilliant track. It, it is a brilliant. And Paul Runa Cabeza, and lovely hits on that album. Yes, those hits are, are, are curious because, you know, originally I wouldn't wouldn't have chosen to play them because they are famous songs and I'm a classical guitarist and I'm a serious artist so I was thinking you know if I'm going to play such very very well known songs mm. or pop songs or how, whatever they are they need to be arranged really brilliantly um, so I worked with a wonderful uh, guitarist and composer from Brazil whose name is Sergio Assad mm. and uh, that's why they have this really really cool feel underneath mm. Um, and Jobim school, as it He were. made them into yeah. a very credible pieces, and yeah. I, I, I love that very much. Mm. While we're on that subject, can I touch on the great arrangements? Uh, how did you come to meet Andrew Lloyd Webber and, and get involved in the whole Stephen Watt, the new musical yes. project? Well, um, Andrew just happened to be in one of my performances um, in, the, um, uh, in the tunnels of Bermondsey. <laughs> it was a yellow lounge that uh, Universal Music organized last year. Um, and I was performing there uh, in the Yellow Lounge and Andrew just happened to be there because he was a, a, a big uh, supporter of my work and then we met and started talking and then the opportunity came and uh, it, was a, it was a thrilling experience. Mm. And I can't wait for tonight obviously but the space in between rehearsal and performance are you allowed to drink in that space? Well, I see we have some s smashing what we spiff have spiffing wine. Yeah. Uh, they've <laughs> matched you with this wine, and it's a very it's a quite a compliment actually. It's the McMurtry wine. Okay, McMurtry is the boss of Lathwaite, so they obviously think you're the big cheese here. So, oh, well, thank you. If you if you'd like a sip, we, yeah, we so can well, if you well, wish. Cheers. Hmm? All the best for tonight. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Thank you.